been, I've been through instructions, okay? I want a clean fight, okay? Listen to my instructions, okay? So it's got stuff. I reckon there's not some noise about this one for the Queensland welterweight title. Kenny Aiken, he is the champion, fighting out of the blue corner in the red trunks. Lachlan O'Shea is the former champion, fighting out of the red corner in the black trunks. We are scheduled for eight three-minute rounds. The fight sponsored by Oxworks and Hannay Lawyers. It's a right-hander versus a left-hander. Lachlan O'Shea, Southpaw, champion, that's him in the black. Kenny Aiken, champion, that's him in the red. He's the right-hander, the orthodox boxer. Yeah, Lockie O'Shea, the the local boy, hence the, the excessive noise, but uh, <laughs> Ken Aiken will be trying to silence that crowd because he's got plenty of skills. This kid obviously picked up... Yeah. That impressive win last start, which which is where he collected the Queensland title, which they're fighting for tonight. Is that the win over Aaron Stone? Yes, that's yeah. right, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, impressive, his, his couple of wins most recently over Aaron Stone. Dean Thomas, another Townsville boy. Yep. And a big win for Lockie too last start, beating uh, Ben Horn. So That's right. And Ben Horn obviously franked that form very recently with a massive win over Joel Taylor. So that's uh, that's really good uh, form for this fight right here that T we're watching tonight. That was, I'm going to say... The biggest upset of the year. Yeah, up <laughs> upset of the year. But uh, I'm talking about uh, Lachlan O'Shea and Ben Horn. That has got to be 18 months ago. That's got to be the end of 2021, I'm thinking. So a little bit of time out of the ring for Lachlan O'Shea. Circling around to his left, pivots, comes back to the right. Great shot there with just over a minute remaining in the round of the front feet of both these two guys. Now, I know it's all about punching and it's all about the best punches, but when you've got a right-hander versus a left-hander, so much of the emphasis in the gym is on that front foot and whose foot is on the outside because the outside opens up the angles and opens up the lines to punch and at this stage it's ken aiken with his foot on the outside another hard and fast theory by any means but it's exactly what the trainers are looking for they're yeah, both boys very calculated in this first round not throwing much once again, showing plenty of respect for their opponent, not going in willy-nilly because they know they can get caught. Both boys have got power. Ten seconds remain in the opening round. Eight rounds is our journey. We'll take you back into the corners at the end of each and every round. So touch them up and head back for a 60-second race. See some replays from that first round. Once again, very calculated first round. Nothing really connecting. A few punches thrown, but not really with too much bite behind them. Both boys respecting each other's power. That was a good shot there from Ken Aiken. Kenny Aiken is an accumulator. It's likely to go the distance with Ken in control. That's him in the red trunks. The baby-faced assassin. What you say? Very busy. Early doors. Round number two. Often the right-hander, left-hander ends up a little scrappy, little ugly. I'm expecting the same here. I've got to say, as 
fatigue sets in. Yeah, good right hand there from Aiken. Yeah. Check out the banners, check out the sponsors. They're the ones supporting our wonderful sport. Good shot there from Ken Aiken at the end of that. A cracking left hook. despite being fought in the centre ring, Andy. Yes. It's just sort of uh, not going anywhere next to the ropes, which is yeah, usually the case when you've got two boxes. Yeah. Oh, good body shot from Ken Aiken. And a cracking right hand from Lachlan yeah. O'Shea. Both boys. I thought the O'Shea legs buckled a little bit there, and Aiken believed the same. He wants to jump back into it. Yeah, that was a good shot. Lucky O'Shea though, he's got those country hands, I tell yeah. you, if, if he hits you, you stay hit, so Ken Aiken's doing a good job, not rushing in, being patient, selecting his shots. Nice from O'Shea. Oh, oh big, big left hand there from Lucky O'Shea, I just caught it before and he just landed one massive shot. say you can smell it here yeah both boys landing with a big shot this round so it's there for the taking for me nice work there from kenny aiken yeah really good work from ken aiken there's another right hand from ken aiken punching in bunches as well good combination punching from the champion in the red Body shot from Lockie O'Shea. Yeah, such a good fight. I tipped this one as the fight of the night before the start, Andy. And it's starting to shape up that way. Both boys starting to throw a lot more punches this round. And I think it's going to warm up even more as the rounds go on. Really nice round. Get comfy, we get a good one. Ken Aiken, Lachlan O'Shea for the Queensland welterweight title. You see some snippets of that last round, and it was an explosive round. Both boys having success with their power hands, but Aiken at the end of that round probably having doubling it up with his success. So maybe stealing that round, Aiken. There was that big left hook that he scored with. Oh, good shot. A lucky O'Shea, you'll see soon, he had a really good power shot as well that rocked the socks of Ken Aiken. So, yeah, a really good round. There it is right there. Some really good exchanges in the last three minutes. Here we go again, back into it. They touch him up. Ken Aiken, the champion in the red. Lucky O'Shea, the challenger in the black. O'Shea, a former Queensland welterweight champion. He wants it, he wants the title back. It's as simple as that. Really strong jab to start from Ken Aiken from NTG. And, and, and a lot of the times, Andy, it's a, it's a shot that's forgotten when they're fighting the southpaw. They think it's all about that right hand. But yep. the jab is still the closest punch to, to your opponent, so you still got to use it. Been uh, a nervous couple of months for some of the ace boxing stars. Liam Paro, unfortunately, injuring himself in camp and having to pull out of a fight in New Orleans and some big news on the horizon, hopefully for the Tower of Terror, Dempsey McGoon. Both guys we're so proud of. Back into it here. They say with the last punch, probably the best punch in that combination. 
Hands down, just a little low for Lockie O'Shea for me. I think Aiken's got the power to, to create an issue there, and he's he's got a real quick jab too, Ken Aiken. Yeah, very tidy boxer. You can see everything's very calculated, nothing's rushed. Very strong defense. So you need to earn your points against Ken Aiken, that's for sure. Good job once yeah. again from Ken Aiken. And there's the receipt there from Lockie O'Shea as he throws three and four body shots. It's a quick strike from Kenny Aiken, isn't it? Nice yeah. right hand from Aiken at yeah. the end of that. Yeah. Cobra like, very quick. Yeah. Yeah, he gets himself into a position. As you said earlier, Nate, he, he doesn't throw punches wildly. He's not silly about throwing volume of punches, but he, he really sets himself up nicely. Yeah, he does the basics right, and at this level, that's all you need to do, and you'll win a lot of fights. Good shot. Seconds. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, starting to mix it up really well as Ken Aiken. See, and I'll be honest here, I'm no good at doing two things at once. I can't commentate and I can't score. I struggle doing one thing at a time, you know, <laughs> 23 hours a day. Uh, good luck with scoring this wherever you're watching and good luck to our three ringside judges, Rodney Marsh, Phil Gregory and Paul Williams because I have got already absolutely no idea. Yeah, it's a tough one, no doubt, and it uh, probably changes depending on where you're sitting on what side of the ring. So, yeah, I think we'll be a very close one. I think we'll go all the distance because both boys are so tough. Both got power, but both boys are extremely tough. So I think we'll see the final bell. So it'll be interesting to see which way the judges go. Stay in the corner. Here we go again. More of the same, please, gentlemen. Ken Aiken in the red. Lockie O'Shea in the black. We're doing it for the Queensland Worldweight Championship. It's better yeah. work there from Lockie. Yeah, it was. Starting to get on his toes a bit more. Starting to get that movement. He started to miss in those opening rounds, but he's starting to get back on his toes. That's when he's best. He starts, he strikes and he gets out of arm's way and then comes back in. Edging forward here is Aiken. Spoken about the jab. Lockie has happily played the counter role different times tonight. And equally as effective in doing so, I must say. Six pro fights for Ken Aiken, nine pro fights for Lockie O'Shea. It's only four fights, but two or three or four fights, but it is a big difference in experience. Left hand from O'Shea. Yeah, he's uh, he's gaining in confidence here as Ken Aiken. He's uh, you can see he's starting to smile now, starting to have fun in there, and that's that's a dangerous sign for Lockie O'Shea because a comfortable fighter is a dangerous fighter. Yep. Okay, break up, break up, break up. Sit back. Start of it, just getting a little, a little sloppy. Good hook there from Ken Aiken and the right hand over the top after the exchange. Good jab as well. Yep. He's not winning these rounds by much, but I think he's just scraping them. Ken Aiken, he's just doing a little bit better work than Lockie O'Shea. He's getting, scoring those cleaner shots for me. Right hand again. 
again just accumulating. Straight punching there, and trickle of blood from the nose of Kenny Aiken. Levels somewhat. Final stages of the round. <laughs> Certainly been uh, better shot from Lockyer Shage. And the return there from Ken Aiken. Yeah, 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 it's really good. <laughs> good fight. Yeah, good fight. And again, good luck to the judges. <laughs> See some of these exchanges. What a what a shot there from Ken Aiken, rocking the head back of O'Shea. He's game though, O'Shea. I'll tell you what, he comes back with his own shot. That was a good shot over the top by him. Natural fighter. Yeah, cracker, cracking fight. Good, good left hand there, and there's the receipt from the young man, Ken Aiken. Come boys, just keep it clean. Watch the heads, watch the pussy in the gate. Great job, come on. Just watch the heads, watch the pussy. That is the instructions from Philip Holiday. This is round five. And we continue on exactly how we left off at the end of round number four. It's getting a little looser. Yeah, I think uh, the corner of Lockyer O'Shea, Steve NG would have said you've got to start opening up here, you've got to throw uh, probably more volume of punches, and he's done that in this uh, opening 30 seconds of this round. You can see throwing a lot more punches than he did in the previous rounds. Good shot there from Ken Aiken straight to the body. He just drove that straight into the, into the stomach. You can shot. hear the air come out of the box. Good shot. That's a good shot from Lockie O'Shea. And the comeback from Ken Aiken. Amazing. What a great fight. Oh, just missing there with that body shot. You know, O'Shea. Such a mature performance by Ken Aiken. Once again, Ace Boxing proving they, they just get the formula and how to match up the right guys at the right times in their career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrific right hand from Kenny Aiken. Another fighter fighting beyond his years here, Ken Aiken. He's only, only having his seventh fight tonight, but he's fighting like a veteran. Doing everything right, scoring body shots, head shots, being so patient, defensively good, offensively good. He's got all of it. Ken Aiken, he's got the title and he wants to hold on to it. Keeping that defense really strong. Kenny Aiken in the red. Good shot. Lockman is never going to be hard to find, is he? He's just right there. Yeah, uh, he loves a scrap, that's why he's not going not gonna to go running and hiding, that's for sure. Good shot from Lucky O'Shea. Yeah, a little scrappy there, final 30 seconds around five. Pushing the right hand out as Lucky O'Shea. Three ringside judges. They're going to be called upon. Three more rounds, I would reckon. Yeah, good hook from Ken Aiken. Wow. Yeah, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Ken Aiken. Lachlan O'Shea for state title honours. Some replays of round number five. 
It's a really good round for Ken Aiken for me. He had, he's got his eye in now. He's uh, not wasting any punches. Every time he throws a punch, he usually scores. He's not discriminating between the body and the head. He's doing ultra, ultra impressive job here tonight. You can see, just so confident, hands down now. That's a sign of him being confident in there. Fighting well beyond his six fight experience. Stand in the corner. Here we go again, round number six. Three minutes of the journey. Doing it for Ultra Tune Pro. Ed Civil, welcome to Ryan and the team in Wanless Waste Management. Kenny Aiken in the red, Lachlan O'Shea in the black. It's a good left hand, a power left hand to open up the round for Lockie O'Shea just when you were falling. Geez, composed for a young bloke, he is Ken Aiken, isn't he? Yeah, oh yeah, he's. Uh, before the fight today, I said, uh, How's your prep been? He goes, The best prep I've ever had. He goes, the sparring partners have been second to none. He said, I've had the best sparring partners this prep. So uh, he's uh, more than confident he could get the job done tonight, and he's, uh, he's showing it here tonight so far. His first six rounds have been ultra impressive. the jab out there is Aiken. They say looking at the counter, but walks straight into a right. Yeah, nice work again. Again, finding the target zone that we spoke earlier about just the hands of Lockie O'Shea just being a little low. Ken Aiken, with really good timing, has done a terrific job in, in picking him off. And just little things that people, probably some of the viewers are missing, just, you know, fighting well beyond his years. Every time he's in the clinch, Ken Aiken, and he's next to the ropes, he ties up his opponent, he spins him, and gets back to center ring. Little things like that you don't usually do after six fights, but he knows he's safest in the center ring because he's a great boxer. And when you're in the center of the ring, you can't get caught up in the ropes, and you can't get caught in the corner. So he knows, look, once again, straight away, back to center ring, back, back to boxing in the center ring. Very, very, very polished performance here from Ken Aiken. Nice left hand in the middle of that exchange from Aiken. He wears yeah. a right there from O'Shea. Yeah, good right hand from O'Shea. So if you think it's over, think again. Bell sounds and two pretty tired young men wander back and lump into their stool in the corner. They've deserved this 60 second rest. Round number six, another goodie for that man in red. The right hand just connecting there, throwing every punch in the book and at the right time too, in the right position in the ring. Just sensational, like I said throughout the call, getting back to that center ring, getting back on his jab, keeping at his distance and staying comfortable. Good shot over the top there from Lockie O'Shea. Okay, no pushing was there. Go. Come on, guys. Come on. We need it there. Two rounds. Here go. we go again. Round number seven. Just the two to go. Six minutes of work. Lockie O'Shea's throwing caution to the yeah. rent here. You can see he's opened up the last two rounds a lot faster, but this one especially, you can see. Uh, he, he, oh, good, 
uppercut. He just walked him onto an uppercut. And that's the thing. You cannot sleep on Lockie O'Shea because he can put you to sleep at any, at any stage in the fight. Oh, two good shots once again. This fight is turning and turning quick. The power is in Lockie O'Shea's fist. Look at O'Shea. The champion back against the ropes. He is locked. He's on rubber legs at the moment. He's Kenny Aiken. O'Shea sprinted out of the blocks this round. And Lockie O'Shea doesn't want to hold. He doesn't want to rest. He wants to throw hands. He's hurt. He's definitely hurt. You can see he's not 100% yet. Still on the retreat. And the bombs are still coming. And they're coming thick and fast. He gets rocked back one more time. O'Shea. O'Shea, look into the eyes. O'Shea wears one. Gets back onto the front foot. Really nice. Man, the Aiken with a bomb of a right hand. Oh, what a turn and what a counter from Aiken. He's still cloud in the eyes, Aiken. He needs a reminder. O'Shea <laughs> needs to drill him one more time. <laughs> They are exhausted. There's still plenty of power. Great shot from Ken Aiken. Yeah, good shot to start that exchange. What a round, round number seven has been. Man, as Lockie O'Shea punched himself out yeah, here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, his, his shots are coming from his hips, and that's not a good, that's not a good sign. Another right hand over the top of the shoulder from Lockie O'Shea. We said if you think it's over, think again. Bones being traded here. Oh. What a seesawing round this one. Lockie O'Shea trying to march forward, trying to put the exclamation mark on this contest. He knows he's got Aiken hurt. Aiken knows he's hurt. He's in survival mode with 30 seconds remaining in the round. The champion, Ken Aiken, looking to hold on. Aiken backed oh. into the corner. O'Shea swings wildly. What a round. What a round for Lachlan O'Shea. Yeah. And a bit of hope with three minutes remaining. Yeah, definitely so. I think... Uh, a Lockie O'Shea for certain. That was his round, but I mean, Ken Aiken still, as cloudy as he was, he was still doing the little things right, trying to get back to center ring, trying to compete, trying to lock him up when he had to, hold him when he had to. But what a round for Lockie O'Shea. This is the eighth and final round coming up. I called this one as the fight of the night. It was sleeping on me for a little bit, but it's really starting to warm up now these last couple of rounds. I don't know who needed the rest more. Lockie O'Shea, I thought, had punched himself out with a minute remaining. He was just exhausted. But on the other hand, Kenny Aiken, I don't know if he could have survived one more cracking shot. Here we go, Aiken and Paul and the Queensland Welterweight title. Ken Aiken in the red, Lachlan O'Shea in the black. And O'Shea with a rejuvenated round in the seventh is looking for that repeat shot. And I'll tell you what, do not go anywhere because we've got two minutes, 40 seconds of action coming all the way to the finish line because both boys are throwing and throwing hard. They certainly are, and a couple of cracking shots That's from Ken Aiken in the opening 35 seconds of the final round. Oh. Has O'Shea got anything left? Aiken dominated early doors, final round. Good little sneaky left hand by the challenger in Aiken. Really good fight, stylistically just matches up perfectly. Aiken and O'Shea. There's mixed messages coming from the blue corner and from the MTG team. 
who have, like the rest of the audience here, shuffled to the front of their seats. Good shot from Ken Aiken. What's O'Shea got? Both boys running on fumes at the moment, but... That is cracking from O'Shea, oh. from uh, Ken Aiken. Aiken. I, I, I'm not sure if he's punched himself out now, Kane Aiken. They're just running on adrenaline at this stage, and both boys, once again, you saw the little pivot back to center ring. He's holding, he's, he's doing everything right, Ken Aiken. Feeling, once again, fighting well beyond his experience as Lockie O'Shea tries to march him back now. 60 seconds remain. The countdown is on. What a matchup this has been for state honours. Who said a state title doesn't mean anything as Aiken smiles after ripping in another cracking shot. I build this one as fight of the night and is really living up to it now. Both boys, like Andy said, punching themselves out but still finding something. The countdown continues. We are to 30. And they will leave it all in the ring. They will leave it all in the ring. There is no excuses. They have given it their best. But whatever the decision, we are already asking for more. One last go. Ten seconds. And they stand and they throw. They have done it for 24 minutes. This is one of the fights of the year. Kenny Aiken, Lachlan O'Shea. Punch and faces for half an hour here in South East Queensland. How good was that, Andy? Unbelievable performance by both boys. Once again, fighting well beyond their experience, like a lot of the card here tonight. Stepping up and stepping up. You cannot ask for a better fight than that for Queensland State Honours. Both boys punching themselves to a standstill. Ken Aiken, what a fight. Wow, just wow, that was, that was a beauty. We mentioned at the start of the fight, we, we outlined what happens in theory with a right-hander and a left-hander and, and that at times it can get messy and at times it can be ugly. Well, that went against that theory. It was a war, a beauty. An absolute beauty, and I wouldn't be surprised if the scoring here and Johnny Hogg needs to get the calculator out, maybe the abacus, and uh, really study the numbers here. The longer it takes, the closer it is. Normally. Normally. James Stewart from Bill Chaser. One of the sponsors here tonight. Presenting the hardware, the Queensland welterweight title to the winner. We continue the very nervous way. You reckon Ken Aiken's nervous? You reckon Lachlan O'Shea is even more nervous? Corners are on edge. And that's the prize. That is the prize for the winner. At the moment, Ken Aiken. He is the champion. Lachlan O'Shea, the former champion. Someone goes home with it. And James O'Shea knows who that young man is. Official first of all, welcome into the ring from Bill Chaser, James Stewart to help us with the presentation and also give them a big Matthew Hoff. Welcome. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so put your hands together for both of our fighters. What a fight this was, worthy of the title. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to our judges' scorecards. Judge. Paul Williams, the judges, the contest 76 76. Joel, Judge Phil Gregory scores about 77 to 75. Judge Rodney Marsh scores about 77 to 75. Your winner by majority decision.
and still Queensland champion from the blue corner, Ken Babyface Assassin, eight can. Seventy-seven, seventy-five, seventy-seven, seventy-five, and a seventy-six, seventy-six. That's how close it was. Kenny Aiken retains his title. What a performance it was. What a